Hello, welcome. My name is Shannon Stefanacci and I am with Pick and Boot Vintage in sunny Southwest Florida. And I'm here today on the Decoupage Queen Instagram page and we are going to do a fun project. I have to put my apron on because I'm kind of a messy crafter. So I wanna say thank you for joining me. Um, Today we're going to be using the size A1 paper, and this is a banded. This is one of my favorite of all the decoupage queen papers, probably because one of my favorite colors is rust. So, um, if you have any questions, please put them in. I will try to answer them. Uh, if I can see it, I will definitely answer it. So, basically what we're gonna do today is I have this old window. Hey, Judy. <laughs> so I have this window. I've already prepped it. I've cleaned it. And I've already put a coat of paint on it just because we're going to put something else on top and I wanted to save a little bit of time. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip the window over so it's backwards. And I'm going to turn it this way. It's going to be sideways, but it'll fit better in the camera angle. Next, we are going to put on this beautiful, beautiful paper that I love so much. And we are going to put it face down. Now, generally, when you're putting paper in a window, you can either put it face down or face up, depending on what your end goal is. Now, if this paper was smaller than my window, I probably want to put it on the front. That way I could blend paint in on the sides. But since it fits perfectly in there, I'm going to do it on the back. This way, it'll help protect the design and it'll be beautiful on here. So, first things first, we need to make sure it fits exactly because it is a little long. Other than that, it fits in really well. So, I did good at picking out the window from my stash. So, I like this side better. If there's more to look at here. So, when I trim it, I'm going to trim some of the side that has more of just the plain area. So I'm going to lay that down on my window and I'm going to center it as best I can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this this way and I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to give it a little crease. Now I want to do that because if I put the crease on this paper, I'll know exactly where I need to cut. So I'm going to put it right there. All right, now I'm simply going to just cut the extra piece off. And um, that way it'll fit my window perfectly. It might not be the best cut. It's a little jagged, but it'll still fit my window and it'll be framed in nicely. You won't even notice the edges. All right, so let's see. That's pretty much how it's gonna go. But don't think that that's all we're doing. We're gonna be doing some more fun things to make this a beautiful work of art for your wall. I've done several windows with decoupage paper and there's so many different ways and so many different things you can add for detail. So first things first, let's go ahead and get this started. Now this is the size A1 rice paper. Now rice paper is nice because there's less wrinkles. And I'm putting it on today with the Pentart. I'm using the decoupage varnish and glue by Pentart. Um, you can use, there's all different kind of mediums you can use. There's Mod Podge, there's clear coat, and um, Sorry, there's people at my window and my door. We just started summer hours, so we're closed on Tuesdays. And this is about the 10th person that's come to my door this morning looking in or trying to get in. So <laughs> we're just a little bit slower in the summer, so I always take an extra day off. But anyway, so if I get sidetracked, it's just because I'm looking at my door. Um, anyway, I'm using the decoupage varnishing glue by Pentart and in the matte. 
Now I'm going to apply it to my window and I know people are going to say, well, won't you see it? Once it dries, you will not see it. I've already cleaned the window with Windex. It's dried, it's ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here at the top and then I'm going to work my way down because I want to make sure when I put it down, I put it down nice and flat and even. So I'm just going to go put a nice even coat, making sure I get all the edges. Now there are other ways to put decoupage paper on. For instance, you can put your medium on, let it dry, then put your paper on and iron it. That's one way. And I like this way though. I have a tendency to burn myself with irons or any other kind of apparatuses. I have a scar here from my heat gun, <laughs> believe it or not. All right, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna put it here. And what's nice about rice paper is it's a little thicker, so if you want to pick it up, you can and then put it back down. Whoops, probably shouldn't have done that. I just wanted to show you, but let's do that again. Line it back up, there we go. Okay, so I have it here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my brayer, this is just a brayer, and I'm just going to kind of give it a firm press, but not too hard, obviously, because it is glass. I just want to make sure that the paper is on. So when I lift it up to put the rest of it on, I'm not going to pick it up. All right, so now we'll just continue on. I'm looking to see if there's any questions. I don't see any yet. I just see people joining in. <clears throat> Thank you for tuning in with us. Again, I'm using the abandoned paper. It's an old rusty truck sitting in a field, which I just love this paper. I've used it a few times already. The last time I used it was on a dresser. And now it has a home in Kentucky. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna continue to lay my paper down. I'm gonna use my brayer. Here, let me just put it sideways so you can see. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna just do the rest. Last time that I was on here on Instagram, I did a, a cabinet or a secretary, I guess you could say, and it was white. And I put this beautiful paper in the background and then I started to add some moss to the front. <laughs> and I know people were thinking, oh my goodness, what is she doing? But actually when I was able to finish it off camera, it turned out better than, I, um, better than I thought it would. It's gorgeous. You can check it, it's in the feed of the Decoupage Queen. It's also on my page, which is Pickin' Boots Vintage. Um, all right, let's put the rest of this paper down. And then the more fun will begin. We're gonna highlight this rusty truck. Decoupage paper is really fun to do. It adds so much to whatever you're working on. And sometimes you may not want the full design. Like I could have cut the truck out and just used the truck, but I love everything about this. I love that it's in a field. Now, because it's on the back of a window, I really don't need to go ahead and seal it. Cause generally when I do a window, I just cover it with paper. Put some hooks on it so we can go on the wall. But for right now, we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna show you. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. So here is the start. Oh, there's, let me get rid of the, where? 
Now, this color is very bright. This is not the color it's gonna stay. This is just my base coat because we're gonna have some fun with it, but not just yet. I wanna do one more thing before we decorate the frame. So I'm gonna lay this back down here. Now, I'm gonna put my brush in water so the decoupage medium does not ruin my brush. So Decoupage Queen has all different size papers from scrapbook six by six sizes all the way up to A0, which is humongous. It's like 33 by, I should know off the top of my head, but I don't. Um, they're really big <laughs> and so many different patterns and there's just so much that you can choose from. So definitely check those out on decoupagequeen.com and you can also find your local retailer there too. All right, so I have my rusty truck, and it's a, there's a little bit of a glare from the light, but also from where the decoupage medium is going to dry. So it makes it look a little cloudy right now, but we're not gonna worry about that because that will dry clear. What we're gonna do is I have this little mesh stencil, and there's already a truck on the paper, so I don't think I need the truck for this. I think it'd be a little repetitive, so I'm just gonna put the part that says old truck, and his name is Rusty, which is, Perfect, because that's what we're gonna be adding to our frame. I'm gonna show you how to make some beautiful rust. All right, so with mesh stencils, if you use them before, they're really easy to use. You just simply peel it off and then it'll stick to wherever you wanna put it. So I'm going to put it over here in the, that kind of the more dead area, more of it where it's just that light grayish blue. So let me go ahead and peel this off and stick it on. And these can be used more than once. If you, you just make sure you clean it right away when you're done using it. All right, let's put that on here. And let me just hold this up to make sure it's straight. Um, needs to be turned just a little bit. See what's nice is it was a little crooked, so I wanna put it back on and make it straight. All right. Okay, I wanna make sure I give it a nice firm push. It is a mesh stencil, so they really don't bleed. I just wanna make sure by putting some pressure on it. All right, so what I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use some chalk art. And I'm just gonna do it in black. I think black will show up the best. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it through. Let me put, let's see, can you see that? There we go, nice and. Um, if there's any questions, please let me know. Let me know where you're watching from. All right, so I put a little bit on here and I'm just going to basically run it through my stencil. I'm just gonna apply pressure, drag it over making sure that I don't have any part of the stencil that doesn't have any of this chalk art. All right, I'm just gonna wipe a little bit of the extra off of here. I'm gonna go back and I'm make sure that there's an even layer on here. There we go. All right, so let's do the reveal, but for the reveal, I'm gonna stand it up so you can definitely see it better. This way. So here it is. Um, okay, let's keep our fingers crossed that the design came out perfect. Yay! There we go. So it says, can you see that okay? I know it's a little blurry. Old truck and his name is Rusty, so it's perfect. Now, now the fun. So I'm gonna get a little easel to stand this, the window up so you can see what we're gonna do. So bear with me while I switch my, my stage. All right, so I have a little easel. And ooh, I wanna make sure I put this on gently because I don't want the back of the easel to rip or tear my paper. So there we go. Now, 
My ring light is kind of has a glare, so I'll probably have to do it sideways. So, because if I go this way, you're gonna see a glare from my ring light. I'll go this way. All right, so this is just the frame or the easel that's holding it, it's not black. What we're gonna do is we're going to add rust to this. Rust, a lot of rust. All right, so this is a product that has little pieces of flex of metal already in here. So I'm gonna put it on and then I use a spray and then it uh, forms a chemical reaction. I don't wanna put it everywhere. I just wanna put it in some areas. The first coat is always kind of um, thinner and transparent. You can see through it. Now, last time I did a live, I went back to look at the questions and I couldn't see them because for some reason, Instagram doesn't have a place to see the comments. So if you have a question that I don't see and I don't answer it, please write it in the comments of the video once it's posted as not a live, but as an actual video. This will take a little bit to dry, but why it's drying, uh, I'll talk a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. I thought it'd be really neat to have the rust dripping down on the paper, but I wasn't able to put the stencil on the paper because it would have stuck to the paper and ripped my paper. So I guess I could have used a different stencil, but I really liked that one. So the good news about this paint is it doesn't have to be 100% dry for it to work. You actually want it to be wet. All right. It is messy, so prepare yourself if you ever use this stuff. All right, real quick, while that is kind of drying right now, it kind of looks hodgepodgey, just bear with me. Let me show you this board. This is my cheat sheet board. So it shows me the different finishes, the different looks I can get with the product that I'm using. Let me go hair better. So I'm definitely gonna want the rust. And then I might add a little bit of the blue and green in, not sure, but definitely, definitely, definitely the rust. So that is what we're working on right now. So to get the rust, what we're going to do is we're going to spray it with this magic spray. It's called Green Patina. And it works the best when it's wet. Well, it only works when the paint is wet. Thanks, Rachel. Um, I'm just putting a little bit more on here. I'm going to go light on the areas that are still blue. Very light. Now what I want to do is I'm going to actually spray this. Watch. And you'll see that it's going to drip and it's going to run. But what's going to happen is all of the areas that I'm spraying with this and what I painted will gradually turn to that rust color. It's a chemical reaction and it takes about 20 minutes. We might see some of it turning before we finish. It just depends. <coughs> it is kind of stinky, but it adds a, so much to it. One other thing about using this product to match the rust on the truck. When I first put it on, if it's not enough rust, I can go ahead and I can add more layers and more layers, which will then make it darker and different levels of, of the rust. Now, I wanna put some thick up here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna let some of the rust drip down on the window itself. Oops, there we go, sun's dripping. 
So can you see that? See, I just dripped a few, a little bit of the paint here. So let's see, let me turn this a little bit that way. There we go. So I'm gonna spray heavy up here and let it just drip down. So there, these will turn into rust drips. I really wish this activation happened faster. Okay, let me see if I can get myself on this now. I wish that it activated a little bit faster, but it is a chemical reaction. It does take a little bit of time, but there is little flecks of metal in here. <coughs> Whew. There's ammonia or something in there. It's a little bit pungent, but it is worth every bit of it. I'm going to add a little bit more up here. The nice thing about it is you can just keep adding if you want especially because you don't want to see brush strokes. So when I add, always make sure you go back and add a little bit of spray. Now for this to fully chemical react and get that rust, it's going to take up to two hours. So what I'll definitely do is I will be taking some beautiful photos of it hanging on the wall with the rust dripping on it. So you can see exactly how it turns out. Um, let's see, I, this looks a little brush strokey to me, so I'm going to change that. When I'm off camera, I'm going to go back and I'm going to change the areas of where the easel's holding it up. I want some of the blue to show through so it looks like it's part of part of what the original sign or window looked like. I do want to mention if you guys are working with old windows, keep in mind that some of them may have lead paint on them. So make sure you if you're cleaning them or if you're sanding them, wear a mask and definitely do it outside. Or you can always test it with a um, a test kit you can get at Home Depot and see lead lead paint can be unhealthy okay so you know what i feel like i need a little drip up here so i'm gonna do that real quick oops you can't see that yeah right here on this side it's backwards there we go zoom that out so i'm gonna put a little bit of a drip there Kind of make it look like it's rusting through. There we go. And a little bit more over here. All right. And maybe a little at the top. <laughs> I don't want it to look forced. So... <clears throat> All right. Now this will dry and this will all, all this where I put this gray, this iron color will be rust. Where I put rust on the window, that'll be rust. So it'll all blend in with the rusty truck. This is a little bit cloudy here because the decoupage medium hasn't quite dried yet, but it will. And when it does, it will be gorgeous. Let me turn this so the light is, you can see my ring light. All right, so what do you think so far? I love it. Um, I hope you love it. What I will do is I'm just going to put hooks on the back of it and hang it up. And then, I, of course, it will be for sale in my shop here in Florida. So if you have any questions about what I use, make sure you comment on the post that I'm going to put with this video afterwards. I can't see all the comments in here after it's over for some reason that Instagram doesn't save the comments. All right. Um, so I might as well just do this real quick. And add just a little bit more. You can never have enough rust. Rust and drips. Ah. Ta-da. All right. Well, my name is Shannon, and I want to thank you for joining me today on the Decoupage Queen Instagram page. And um, you guys have a fantastic day.